Today, we're doing an upgraded Titan TV Man build challenge, but I'm secretly gonna be using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive upgraded Titan TV Man. But little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire thing with traps to prank him. But now, let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world are you doing? Bubbles, you have to help me. This skibbity toilet is breaking inside of my house. Oh no, don't worry, GE. I'm gonna help you out. Wait, but how? Just like this. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing an upgraded Titan TV Man build challenge. Upgraded TV Man? That's so cool. But wait a second, what side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? Uh, blue or green, blue or green, blue or green. I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my side! Oh, what in the world? Whatever, GE, blue is way better anyway. I don't know about that, Bubbles. Green is way better and we only have 10 minutes to build this. So let's get started. All right, go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash pick. And holy moly, our upgraded Titan TV man just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but there's no time to waste because we got to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm going to be making a fake entrance. Where should I put it? Hmm. Let's put it right on the side of TV man's head over here. For the entrance, we're going to place down two secret doors disguised as emerald blocks. It'll be the perfect disguise to lure GE over here. Now that the entrance is completed, let's go inside and start building our trap. For this fake entrance, I'm going to be making a fake parkour that has a deadly twist at the end. First, let's place some lava down in this pit. And then we'll literally place down one super easy parkour jump. Let's just see if this works. And yep, that was super duper easy. The reason why I made this super duper easy is because I want GE to fall for this trap at the end of the parkour. Once GE opens up this trap chest, it's gonna break the blocks right under him and he's gonna fall down. At this point, GE would probably be screaming already, but I think it would be hilarious if he fell right into another trap. So let's just build a section down just like this. And let's just put down two dispensers at the end over here and two pressure plates right where he's gonna fall. We'll quickly do a little bit of redstone work and then we'll fill up these dispensers with a whole bunch of lava buckets. And finally, when GE lands on these pressure plates, a bunch of lava is going to come out and he's going to have nowhere to run. Ah, hot, hot, hot. But just like that, our fake entrance is completed. And before moving on to building the real one, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition. So let me just break out a few blocks just like this. And look at that, we can see GE building his TV man. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go, my TV man looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Spider Pig? What the? Why is GE talking to a spider pig. Wait, why are you running away from it? Get over here. What the heck? GE's going crazy. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill my entire TV man with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so this is gonna be perfect. Traps? And wait a second, we only have eight minutes left. I gotta quickly make my build done. Go, go, go. All right, since we already have the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. And I have just the perfect spot for it. We're gonna put it right inside of TV man's core. I think this is such a cool spot because this is the core that he used to destroy Skibbity Scientist. Let's put down some ghost blocks here as the entrance to make sure that it's super duper hidden. You can't even tell that anything's there. Now that the entrance is complete, let's go inside and start building our first official trap. For the first obstacle that GE's gonna have to get past, I'm gonna be making him play guess the button. As soon as GE walks into the room, he's gonna see three buttons right in front of him. A blue one, a green one, and a red one. If GE decides to press his red button over here, it's gonna send him straight to Ohio. And what the heck? Why is there a dinosaur in Ohio? Only in Ohio. Oh, ah. It's gonna be hilarious when GE falls for this trap. Now, since green is such a nasty, smelly color, if GE decides to press the green button, it's just gonna automatically destroy him. Green is GE's favorite color, so you know I had to make it into a trap. And last but not least, the beautiful, mesmerizing, amazing, wonderful blue button. Whoa. Uh, 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 sorry. Um, if GE presses this button, it's gonna be the correct one and lead to the next room through this secret iron door. So let's just test if this works, and looks like it does. For my next trap, I'm gonna be making GE fight a speaker man and a cameraman. Let's first build out the room real quick, and then let's build out some iron bars to make sure that the speaker man and cameraman don't escape. There we go. Go perfect. And now to help me spawn in speaker man and cameraman, hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, look at that. We got speaker man over here looking extra powerful and cameraman as well. I have no idea how GE is gonna be able to defeat them because they're really strong. I think to make this fight a little bit more fair, we're gonna give GE some items he can use. But it's all gonna be held inside this password protected chest. Let's just set the code to 1111 and let's just fill it up with a full set of Ender Dragon armor and a Bone Dragon sword. That should definitely be enough for him to fight these guys. Now for the important part, we gotta give GE a way to figure out the password. And I have just 
just the idea for that. Let's go ahead and break a few holes into the wall just like this, and then we'll place a sign in each with the number of the password right on it. Last one over here. To make it harder to spot, we're just gonna put a whole bunch of paintings to cover it. There we go. Just like that, our speaker man and cameraman fight room is completed. Make sure to stick around to see GE fight these guys. But for now, we can move on to building our third trap. For the third trap in my Titan TV man build, I'm gonna be making the world's most dangerous dropper. Let's first build out a room that goes all the way down here, finish up the floor, and then we'll split it into four even sections. There we go. That looks good. For the first corner over here, we're just gonna put in a whole bunch of fake water. This fake water is actually poisonous, so if GE decides to jump inside it, he's gonna get hurt. Ah! Then in these two corners over here, we're just gonna put in some real lava. The reason why I'm filling up both of these corners with lava is so that GE thinks that one of them is fake and it's safe to land in. But in reality, both of the lava here are super duper hot and will burn him. Ah! For the last corner over here, it's gonna have to be the safe one to land in, so we're just gonna make some bouncy bedrock. And to make the bouncy bedrock, we're gonna have to put a layer of slime just like this, and then a layer of ghost blocks on top disguised as bedrock. And just like that, the bedrock looks super unsafe to land in, but if he actually jumps down, he's just gonna bounce like it's a bouncy castle. Boing, boing, boing. Let's add a few spikes around the dropper to make it even more difficult than it already is. And just like that, the world's most dangerous dropper is completed. I have a super cool idea for my next trap, but before building it, I wanna go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect prank, so let me just come into this wall over here and break out a few blocks. And look at that, we can see GE building. My TV man's turning out so good. Now I'm gonna move to the other leg. And quick guys, before he's done building, I'm just gonna open up my morph mod that I got and I'm gonna turn into a skibbity toilet. Look at that, I'm transforming. And holy moly, we look exactly like an actual skibbity toilet. Now we can just bounce our way over to GE and prank him. Nice, my build is turning out so good. I'm almost ah! What the heck? Is that a skibbity toilet? Skibbity dub dub dub. Yes, yes. Hey, get away from me. Run, skibbity, run. Skibbity dub dub dub. Yes, yes. Skibbity dub dub dub. Why am I not doing any damage? Oh my gosh. Uh, no way. G is actually so scared of me right now. Oh no. My gun's out of ammo. Oh, uh, Mr. Skibbity, can you please let me go? I have like a wife and a family and like kids and stuff totally. Hmm, okay, GE, I'll let you go under one condition. And what's that? You have to sing the Skibbity Toilet song. The Skibbity Toilet song? Oh, no, I'm not good at singing, but I guess I have to. <coughs> Bro, Skibbity Dop Dop Dop, yes, yes, Skibbity Domino Deep Deep. What the heck, GE? That was so bad. You're gonna get blown up. Ah! And look at that, guys. We even destroyed part of his build. Now we gotta run. Are you serious, Rainio? Mr. Skibbity, get back over here. I'm gonna kill you. What the heck, GE? He has a rocket launcher. We gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Ah! Ah! Ew, that was really close, but we got away. I can't believe that skibbity toilet blew up my build. My singing was so good. And we only have five minutes left to fix this. I gotta hurry up. Wait a second. We only have five minutes left. Let me quickly cover this up and turn back into bubbles. And let's get back to building. Okay, we gotta build this fast. For my next obstacle, I'm gonna be making the world's most difficult ice boating course. And since we're so high up, GE better not slip and fall. Let's make the course have some twists and turns just like this. And we'll even make the second half of the course one block thin, which is gonna be super hard not to slip off of. And just like that, the base of our ice boating course is completed. Just to make this course harder than it already is, we're just gonna go around and add a bunch of springs around it. These springs might look harmless at first glance, but if G decides to run into them, they're gonna bounce him to his doom. Ah! Now that we got all the springs down, we're gonna add in some spikes as well right over here. With all our little obstacles placed down, the course looks completed. All we gotta do is quickly put a chest down over here and just fill it with a whole bunch of pink boats. G hates the color pink, so this is gonna be hilarious. Wait a second. Oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build my next trap. For the next Next obstacle I had in mind, GE is gonna have to successfully complete a skibbity toilet quiz. Let me just build out the room real quick. And for the first question in the build, I'm gonna ask who fights with a big hammer? Titan speaker man or Titan cameraman? If you know anything about skibbity toilet, Titan cameraman is the one that fights with the big hammer. So for GE to pick that answer, he's gonna have to grab this portal gun right here and right click on his choice to move on to the next question. However, if GE decides to pick the wrong answer, he's not gonna be able to make it through and he's just gonna fall down. And to make sure he gets punished for picking the wrong answer, we're just gonna fill the floor with a whole bunch bunch of lava spikes. For the second question in my skibbity toilet quiz, I'm gonna ask which toilet is stronger? Option number one, G-Man toilet, or option number two, the spider toilet. Since the G-Man toilet is way stronger than the spider toilet, it's gonna be the right answer. So to move on to the last question in the quiz, G's gonna have to pick G-Man toilet right over here. And now for the last question of the quiz, who can use teleportation? Option number one, speaker woman, or option number two, TV woman. We can see in multiple skibbity toilet episodes that TV woman is the one in fact with 
the teleportation. In TV Woman's my favorite character from the series as well, so I obviously knew that. But since Speaker Woman is GE's favorite, I have a feeling he's gonna pick her and end up in the spikes. Ow, ow, ow! Ah. But without further ado, now that we're done with our skibbity toilet quiz, we can move on to building our last and final obstacle. And since it's the last and final obstacle, GE's gonna have to pick if he wants the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure. Let's place down some chests at the end of each hallway, just like this. And because we already know that blue is so amazing, the diamond side's gonna be the correct one, which leaves the stinky emerald side to be the wrong one. So if GE dares to open up the chest on this emerald side, it's gonna spawn in a charged creeper that's gonna blow him up. Ah! It's gonna be so funny when GE falls for that trap. If GE, however, picks the beautiful blue side, he's gonna be rewarded with a whole bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes, his favorite things. So let's just go ahead and fill up the chest real quick. And just like that, our upgraded Titan TV Man build is completed. Wait, it looks like the timer is up as well. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. Now that we're done with our builds, who's are we checking out first? I don't know, Bubbles. Are we gonna go on the stinky blue side or the beautiful green side? Uh, GE, I think you got the reverse. Green is the stinky side. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. Green is the best color, but you should go over on my side because, you know, my build is way better than yours. What the? That's not even true. But I guess we can save the best for last and go on your side first. Prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. This is my upgraded Titan TV Man build. What the heck? This is actually pretty good, GE, but why is he so short? Uh, because TV Man's short like you, remember? Hey, I'm not short, GE. What the heck? But anyways, GE, how do I even get in this build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Blue. Uh, where is the blue on this build? Let me just look around and wait, it's right in TV Man's armpit. <laughs> That's so weird, Bubbles, but are you gonna go on the green parkour or the blue parkour? The blue or the green? Well, we already established that green is a super stinky color, so I'm gonna go on the blue. And I see that there's some spikes down there, so I'm gonna have to be really careful on these jumps. Come on, come on. And I made it. Nice shot, Bubbles. And now that you made it to the end, you can collect your prize. Collect my prize already? Well, let me just open up this chest and wait, why am I in the void? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, GE? Why'd that teleport me to the void? Because blue's the smelliest color of all time, and now that you went through the blue parkour, you have to go through the green parkour. Ew, I don't want to go through the green, but I guess I'll have to if I want the prize. Let me make these jumps over here, and I made it again. Nice shot, Bubbles, and now that you made it through, you can actually get your prize. And wait, this must be the real prize, because there's a bunch of green crystals and rotten flesh. Let's go! And wait, wait a second. Ah, hot, 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 hot! <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. Are you serious right now? Where are those ghosts? blocks. Yup, because you just went in the fake entrance. Oh my gosh, I should have known this was the fake entrance. Yeah, but you didn't, and if you want to get your treasure, you have to find the real one. Ugh, I guess I'll go find it. Is it in TV Man's arm over here? No. Nope. Is it in his core over here? Not here either. Gee, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Hmm, fine. I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. Okay, and what condition is that? Everyone watching the video, still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all liked and subscribed, so tell me where it is now. Wait, what? How'd they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. I guess they are super cool, so here, follow me. I'll show you where it is. And I don't know how you missed it, Bubbles, because it's literally in this TV right over here. What the heck? How was I supposed to find that? Wait a second, GE. What is this? I put 20 different levers in this room, and if you want to make it out, you're going to have to find the right one. Find the right lever, but there's literally so many. Well, I guess I better hurry up and start pulling all of them. Wait a second, GE. There's one on a red block right over here. Are you gonna press it? I mean, it's really standing out to me, so I'm just gonna pull it and... Are you serious right now? <laughs> what in the world, GE? It's okay, Bubbles. 19 more to go. Oh my, I'm just gonna keep pulling them. And hold up, I think there's one on a blue block right over here. And it looks way better than the red one, so this one's gotta be right. Yeah, it says click here for prize. Are you gonna press it? Well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Let me just pull it real quick and... What, what the heck? What is happening? Ah! Get him, skeletons! Get him! What the heck, GE? Why'd that spawn in with their skeletons? And there's still one more left! Wait, wait, wait a second. Why can't I hit him? And he's throwing out dirt? What What in the world is going on? <laughs> I got you so good, Bubbles. Wait, are you serious? That was you the whole time? Yup, and you totally fell for it. You should have saw the look in your face. What the heck, GE? That's not cool. It was super funny, but you still have to find the right lever in this room, so get to looking. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, the red lever was wrong and the blue level is wrong, so I think you would make the green one right. Are you gonna press it? Let me go ahead and pull this one real quick and look at that, I made it to the next room. Let's go! Gee, what, what is this? I'm really afraid of heights. This is my laser dropper, and you're gonna have to go through these laser sections between the lava and the water. Oh no, those lasers look super dangerous. But if you want me to choose between the lava or water, obviously the water would be safe, so let me just jump down here like this and... 
Wait, wait a second. I'm taking damage. Oh! Haha. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Was that poisonous water? Yup, and you went down the wrong way. What the heck, GE? Well, if that's poisonous water, then this has to be fake lava. So let me just jump down real quick like this. And wait a second. I missed it. There's no way you just missed that jump, Bubbles. Are you serious right now? GE, I told you I was afraid of heights. And I was trying to dodge those lasers too. It's all right, Bubbles. Third time's the charm. You got this. Okay, let me just get a running start back here. And come on, let's go. I made it. And look at that. I'm not burning either. Either. Good job, Bubbles. You figured it out. But now we can press this button to go to the next room. Let's go. Let's go. And, uh, G, G, what, what in the world is that? This is a mutant drowned and you're gonna have to fight him. Uh, but he literally looks like a Sigma from Ohio. How do I beat him? Don't worry, Bubbles. I hit a bunch of chests around this room. And if you find every single one of them, you'll be ready to fight the drowned. And you might even find the Grimace Shake in there. What the? I didn't really care about the items, but a Grimace Shake? I better get looking. And let me look inside this chest. And whoa, it's not the Grimace Shake, but it's a minigun. Let's go. And I'll look inside this chest over here. And okay, that's super cool. I just got some dragon scale leggings and boots. You look so cool, but can you find the rest of the chest? Let me just keep looking through these chests. Come on. And oh yeah, I just found the rest of my armor. Good job, Bubbles. But there's still two more chests you have to get. Hmm, well, I already looked through all the chests. So it must be this weapon in the item frame. And look at that, GE. I'm so powerful. You look super duper cool, but you still need the Grimace Shake. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to find this entire time, but I can't find it. You got this, Bubbles. You just have to look really carefully. Look really carefully? Um, what the heck, GE? There's literally nothing around this room. Let me just start clicking randomly on every single block, and wait a second. I just found the Grimace Shake. Let's go. Are you gonna try it? Obviously, I heard it's super duper nutritious. And, uh, wait, what? GE, I can't, I, I can't move. Uh, 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 what, what is this Grimace Shake doing to me right now? Oh, I think this is the side effect of the Grimace Shake. Whoa, I can't see anything clearly anymore. Ah! No! Gee, that was super scary. I'm never gonna drink a Grimace Shake ever again. Good job, Bubbles. But now that you have every item, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, let me just hit him with my minigun. Let's go. And now I can use my axe. But Gee, he's doing so much damage to me. It's all right, Bubbles. Never back down. Never give up. Ah! I already died once. Once, but this time I'm gonna get him and look at that GE. I already won. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you got the drown, we can open up these doors and go to the next section. Oh, and wait a second, GE. Is this a parkour? This is my lava spike parkour. And if you want to make it all the way to the end, you're gonna have to go through it. These lava spikes look extra deadly. I better be super careful. But good thing I'm a parkour professional. And what, well, uh, GE? Uh, you, you didn't see that, okay? Oh my gosh, Bubbles. You're more like a parkour noob. How did he feel the first jump? Hey, I told you to pretend not to see that. But I'm gonna prove to you that I'm not a noob by making this jump now. Nice. And I'm just gonna breeze through the rest of this like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. Nice, but can you make it to the end? Uh, let me do this head hitter real quick. And the last jump, come on. And I did it. Nice shot, Bubbles. Now you can open up this door and get to the next section. Oh yeah, let me just open it up and... Wait, wait a second, G. I can't open it. Uh, are you sure? You might just have to try it harder. Come on, come on. And, G, this is literally an iron door. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I hit a button somewhere in this room, and you're gonna have to find it. A button? Well, let me just look around, and... There's literally nothing here. But there is this Among Us painting. It's super sussy. Yeah, he might be the imposter. What are you gonna do about it? Well, if he's the imposter, I'm gonna get rid of him. And wait, wait a second. There's a chest. Let me open it up to see what's inside. And it looks like there's a button. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you have the button, we can move on to the next room. Let's go. Whee. I could tell that the last obstacle was a parkour, but GE, what is this? This is my boat maze, and you're gonna have to get to the end. A boat maze? Well, let me just go in this chest and grab a boat. And I'm obviously gonna grab a blue one and not a a green one. Really, dude? Green is the best color of all time. No, it's not blue is. Captain Bubble's ready for voyage. Let's go, but now that you're in the boat, which side are you gonna go on? Well, it looks like there's a turn right over here, so it must be this way. Let me just keep sailing and, uh, what, what is this drop? Oh, there's lava. Ah! Haha. <laughs> what the heck, GE? I guess that wasn't the right turn. Yeah, it wasn't, but there's still two more turns left, so which one are you going through? Well, I think I see a close one right over here, so I'm gonna go through it. Come on, let me just go inside and Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Stop. These are creepers. These are creepers. Ah! Oh, no. They got rid of your boat. Guess that means you have to use the green one now. Ha <laughs> ha. What the heck, G? I don't want to use the green boat. But I guess the creepers didn't kill me, so I gotta be grateful for that. Nice shot, Bubbles. And there's still one more tunnel left. Well, let me just back out of this creeper one. Come on. Before any more creepers spawn. And let's head toward this final turn. And wait, G. It looks like it's the prize. Good job, Bubbles. Are you gonna open it up? Yeah, of course I will. I went through so much, G. I went through a hard parkour. I got blown up by creepers. And now I can finally get my prize. Let's go. And 
Are you serious right now, GE? Haha, <laughs> it wasn't gonna be that easy, Bubbles. You still have to choose between the diamond treasure and the emerald treasure. The diamond or the emerald? Well, don't we all know, GE? I love diamonds. All right, so let's see what's inside. And it looks like it's the prize. Uh, 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 what the heck? What the heck, man? Were those ghost blocks? Yup, because you just went in the fake treasure. Personally, I think that the diamonds should have been the real one. I don't know about that, Bubbles. Let me just smell the side real quick and... <laughs> Ew, that totally shouldn't have been the right one. What the heck? Okay, well, let me smell your side then. Ew, that's even worse. Oh my gosh, but we'll stop being a baby and just go through the emerald treasure already. You know what? I'll do it, but I'm gonna plug my nose first. All right, GE, I'm walking through. I'm coming through, GE. L let me in, let me in. Oh my gosh, there's no way you're actually plugging up your nose, but now that you made it inside, you can collect your treasure. Okay, GE, I'm almost out of breath. Come on, I'm gonna open up this chest. Oh, wait a second, a bunch of blue crystals and rotten flesh? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second, why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah! But Bubbles, now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. Oh my gosh. How in the world is this build so big? Because I'm a Minecraft professional. Don't you just love my upgraded Titan TV, man? Your build is super awesome. But wait a second. How did you build this in only 10 minutes? What do you mean only 10 minutes? It's plenty of time for me to build something like this. And I even went easy on you, GE. Uh, are you sure about that, Bubbles? This build is literally huge. What can I say? I just have some super fast building skills. Whatever you say, Bubbles, but wait a second. How do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. Wait, my favorite color? Then green. But wait a second. I don't see any green on this build. You're just gonna have to look a little bit closer. Come on. There's gotta be some greener on this build. And wait a second. I think I see some right over here. No way. You found it. All right. So let me just try clicking on these and let's go. Good job, GE. You made it inside. Now you're gonna have to complete this super Super difficult lava parkour if you want your prize. This super difficult lava parkour? This is the easiest parkour I've seen in my life because, you know, I am a parkour pro. What do you mean, GE? Look how many jumps there are. Watch this, Bubbles. I'm gonna complete this parkour first try. Let me just make this jump right here. And now I'm gonna 360 all the way to the other side. Let's go. What the? That was pretty stylish, GE, but now you can open up your chest and collect your prize. I guess I have double your is, Bubbles, but now that I made it to the end, I'm gonna collect my prize. Let's go. And wait a second. What the what? Uh, why is there lava here. Haha, <laughs> you're about to get burned. Get away from me, lava. Get away. Ah. Haha, <laughs> stop raising me. Oh my gosh. What in the Ohio was that, Bubbles? You just fell for my trap because this is the fake entrance. The fake entrance? Are you serious right now? Yep, so now you better go find the real one. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe it's inside of his TV and no. Nope. Or is it inside of his arm and oh my gosh. Uh, no, no, no. I can't find this entrance anywhere, Bubbles. Can you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint, G but under one condition. All right, but what's that? No condition, because I'm not giving you a hint. Ha! Ah. Oh my gosh. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Oh, 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 gee, please. Put that away, put that away, put it away. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Let's go. I have no idea why you didn't check here, GE, but it's right inside of his core. Oh my goodness. I could have totally found that, but wait a second. Now that we're inside, there's a red button, a green button, and a blue button. Oh no. Yep, but only one of them's gonna be safe, so which one are you pressing, GE? Well, since green's the best color of all time, I'm gonna press the green button. Let's go and wait a second. Really, dude? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you would pick the green one, GE, so I made sure to make it a trap. Oh my gosh, really, Bubbles? Green's the best color of all time. How could you do that? Because in reality, green is not the best color. But out of these last two buttons remaining, which one are you gonna press? Well, this red button's super duper big. I totally have to press it. Come on, let's go! And wait a second. What the heck is this? What is happening? You're just gonna teleport it to Ohio. No, 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 get out of here. And wait a second. Did I just kill him? Am I stuck in Ohio? Yep, you just got rid of your only way out, GE. Oh no. Only in Ohio, oh, only in Ohio, oh. I didn't think you would be able to get out of Ohio, but I guess you did. Yeah, that was a total nightmare, but wait a second. Only the blue button's left. Does that mean I have to press it? Yep, it's your only option. I guess I'll press the blue button and let's go. We made it. And wait a second. Is that speaker man and cameraman? Yep, they're super powerful and you're gonna have to fight them, GE. Wait a second. I'm gonna have to fight them, but they're my favorite skibbity characters. That's what makes this level extra hard. Oh no, that sounds super scary. 
so I guess I'll open up the chest to get started and wait a second. Really, dude? Why is there a password? Because I wouldn't let you get your items that easy, GE. You're gonna have to look around the room for clues to figure out the password. Look around this room, but it's just a bunch of paintings and wait a second. Why is there another Among Us over here? That is pretty sussy. What if he's the imposter? Yeah, he might be. Get over here, Mr. Imposter. And wait a second. There's a sign over here. No way. You figured it out. The number on the sign is one of the numbers in the password. Hmm. So if I break the rest of these paintings, maybe I can open up this chest. And wait, another one. Yep, but can you figure out the last two numbers? Hmm, well, maybe there's some on this wall. Come on, come on, come on, and another one. So now you got three ones in a row. Wait a second, Bubbles. I think I figured this out. The code has to be 1111. You actually got it. Let's go, and now I have some Ender Dragon armor and this Dragon Bone Sword. Whoa, G, you look super cool, and you can fly too. Whoa, this is awesome. Speaker Man and Cameraman, bring it on. The cage is gonna open up in three, two, one, fight! Get over here! Holy moly, it looks like they're doing so much damage to you, GE. Yeah, but I'm flying up super duper high. Can you get him? Come on, and oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha! It's all right, Bubbles, try to. Let's see if you can win. It looks like you got him. Let's go! That was a super hard fought fight, GE. Now you can open up this door and move on to the next level. All right, and wait a second. What the heck is this? Welcome to the world's deadliest dropper. You're gonna have to pick one of these corners to jump in and hope it's safe. Hmm, well, this is the easiest choice of all time. I'm gonna go in the water side. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I taking damage? Oh no. <laughs> Are you serious, Anya Bubbles? Was that poisonous water? Yep, it's the same one that they used to make the Grimace shake. That explains a lot, but wait a second. There's only lava and bedrock over here. Yeah, so what are you gonna do, GE? Hmm, well, since this right lava has to be right, I'm gonna go in the right lava. Let's go. And oh no. Why am I burning? No way. Well, since the right lava wasn't the right one, I'm gonna go in the left one. It has to be fake. Let's go. Let's see if you make it. And oh my goodness, why did I just burn again? No way, G, you just died three times in a row. Hmm, well, I guess it has to be this bedrock one, so I'm gonna jump on these spikes until I get all the way to the bottom. G, just jump to the bedrock, trust me. Jump to the bedrock? Hmm, I guess I will. Come on. And wait a second, why am I bouncing? Because I made some bouncy bedrock for you. I didn't even know there was a thing. That's so cool, but wait a second. What the heck is this, Bubbles? This is the next obstacle that you're gonna have to cross to get your prize. My amazing ice boating course. Your amazing ice boating course? Well, luckily, I'm an ice boating pro, so let me open up this chest real quick and... Really, dude? Why is there a bunch of pink boats? Because I remember you said you love the color pink. Uh, no, I don't. I hate the color pink. Get out of here. Uh, GE, if I were you, I would not throw those out, because you're gonna need those to get across to the other side. Oh my gosh. Why does it have to be a pink boat? Can I please get a green boat? No, nope, pink is all you get. Oh my gosh. Whatever. I guess I'll get inside of this stinky pink boat. Yep, and you better not get hit by these springs. Alright, come on. Can I make it to the end? Looks like you dodged the spikes. And oh no. You just got bounced off. Ah! It's alright, Bubbles. Try to. Let's see if you can make it past this spot. It looks like you did it. They don't call me a pro for no reason, Bubbles. I just have to make this last turn and I made it. Let's go. No way you did it. Now you can open up this door and move on to your next obstacle. And wait a second. Why is there a portal gun over here? Because this is a skibbity toilet quiz room and you're gonna have to answer these questions successfully to make it to the end. Who fights with the big hammer, speaker man or cameraman? Uh, Bubbles, this is the most obvious question of all time. Obviously, cameraman has a hammer. Well, let's see if you're right by using the portal gun on this answer. All right, let me just use it real quick and let's go. It was the right answer. Nice job, GE, but can you get the second question right? Which toilet is stronger, G-Man or spider toilet? Well, the spider toilet is pretty scary, so I'm gonna go on the spider toilet side. And wait a second, what the heck? Why am I burning? Haha, <laughs> it was wrong. G, I can't believe you would pick the spider toilet. G-Man's obviously the stronger one. Yeah, I guess G-Man is pretty scary, so I'm gonna go on the G-Man side. Now that you made it through, can you answer the last and final question? Who can use teleportation, TV woman or speaker woman? Hmm, well, I don't really know this one, but speaker woman's literally my girlfriend. I'm gonna go on the speaker woman side. Let's go and... Oh my goodness. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I knew you would pick Speaker Woman GE because you have a crush on her. Uh, uh no I don't, Bubbles. What are you talking about? It's okay, GE. We all know already. But yeah, the correct answer to this question was TV Woman. Let's go. I'm gonna make it through now. Now, welcome to your last and final obstacle, GE. Are you gonna pick the Emerald Treasure or the Diamond Treasure? The Emerald or the Diamond Treasure? Well, that's the most obvious choice of all time. I'm gonna go in the Emerald Treasure. Let's go. And wait a second. Why is there a creeper? Kaboom. That was super duper scary. Does that mean I have to go in the Diamond Treasure? 
treasure. Yup, I can't believe you fell for that, GE. Diamond was obviously the right one. Oh my gosh. Whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll open up the diamond treasure now in three, two, one. Let's go. Whoa, there's a bunch of poisonous potatoes and a bunch of emeralds. Yep, they're all for you. I'm feeling richer than ever. Gee, but now that we checked out each other's builds, which one do you think is better? Hmm, well, looking carefully at both of our builds, I think that my build was better. What? No way, mine is better. Aw, uh, really, dude? Then who wins? Hmm, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, everyone comment Bubbles. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the video on screen. Go click it, click it, click it. Bye. Bye. Are you serious right now?